back everyone today we are going to be taking a look at how to use puddle pack inside of maya and the first thing i want to say is thank you to everyone who bought the pack we've got so many collections sold so i just want to say thank you for all those who bought the pack and i really hope you enjoy creating amazing render with these collections and today we are going to be taking a look at how to use this map or you can see all these displacement map and collection inside of maya and we are also going to be taking a look at how to use these kind of maps inside of other 3D program as well. Like for example, Cine 4D, Blender and Houdini as well. So today we are talking about how to use these maps inside of Maya. So let's see. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is take a simple plane and let's bring this up and I'm going to keep it as a default plane. Let's just call this ground for now. And the first thing I want to do is take a new material. Go to Anand stand surface, and in the attribute, let's call the stand surface something called as puddle. Okay, let's make the weight to one. Perfect. So let's go to the hypershade, and let's take the graph network of the puddle. Just right click on it and go to graph network. And so this is our puddle. Okay. Now there are a couple of things that you can do from here. Either you can drop your images right inside of your hypershade, or you can go to Anand and select AI image. Now from here inside of your AI image you can simply load your images you can browse your images select them and load it in I'm going to load mine so as you can see I've loaded my diffuse map inside of Maya using AI image you can simply browse it here and I'm going to double click on this and call this diffuse just so it's pretty easy to find and I'm going to attach this okay let's attach everything later I'm going to take another one and uh, let's browse this Okay, so perfect. Now I'm going to attach my diffuse color to the base color. Okay, and I'm going to attach my roughness to the specular roughness. And the second thing I'm going to do is take a normal map. So you can simply go to AI normal map, take this, attach this to the sorry input, and attach this to the normal camera. Set. So the last thing we have to do is attach the alpha or you can see the color to the displacement shader and that's it so now it looks something like this it looks pretty weird obviously the roughness map is not exactly working as it should be so the way to fix this is simply taking a color correct node search for color correct and attach this color to the input and the alpha to the specular roughness now in here make sure you check on the luminance all right and this will should fix the overall speckliness otherwise you can also invert this if you want to change the overall look of your roughness so the next thing we are going to do is uh, this material has already been applied to the plane so i'm going to hit six now and here we can see our map so i'm going to turn on my lights and shadows uh, i think i'm going to keep this off all right from here i'm going to take uh, first let's turn on the ipr to see what's going on and uh, I'm going to select my camera shape let's go to the perspective let's take a uh, physical sky and so there we go so I'm going to switch back to my camera and I'm going to select a view all right something like this okay uh, now the first thing we have to understand uh, is definitely correcting our physical sun and sky so I'm going to make the elevation pretty low just so we can see the overall sun and let's make the intensity to 1.2 and let's change the azimuth somewhere around until we can see the sun All right, so this is perfect. Now I need to move my camera right about here. All right, something like this. And now we can pretty much play around with the azimuth or you can see the overall uh, rotation of your sun's direction. Yeah, so I think this is looking quite good now. And now you can see we have pretty interesting puddles. Now to give more interesting result to your puddle, what you can do is select your plane and go to your uh, Arnold. 
and make sure you turn on the subdivision type to Kara Clark and increase the subdivision. This will just increase the subdivisions levels on your uh, plane. So as you can see now you have higher details but the puddle looks pretty intense. So to make this kind of less intense let me make this 4. So as you can see the more iterations you increase the more amount of detail you are adding. But don't overdo this obviously this is going to cost you at your render times. So I'm going to change the height to somewhere around like 0.2 and just update the full scene. Okay, and make sure 0.1. Make sure you turn on the auto bump and update the full scene. Okay, so I think I'm going to go right about there. All right, I think I'm going to turn this off now. I think it's looking better without that. So as you can see we have pretty interesting results of the puddle going on you can always go back and change the overall result you can always go back inside of your puddles and if you don't like the overall roughness you can invert this to get a different result and if you think the overall uh, speckleness on this thing is too much you can always turn down the weight of your speckler and if you want more puddles you can pretty much increase the metalness to give a little bit of more kind of extra feel to it so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, i'm going to be uploading more videos on other 3d program as well how you can use them inside of other 3d programs so definitely try creating something interesting using these puddles you can pretty much create some interesting results and uh, have fun with creating something interesting with this all right